Hi there everybody, it's UK independent demonstrator Halsey here from slimandstylish.com. Thank you for joining me today for my Saturday series project. So on a Saturday I just grab something off my shelf and create three different projects with it. There is no plan and I have no ideas in my head so I'm not sure exactly how it's going to pan out but the bundle that I have chosen today is the basket of blooms photopolymer stamp set and the coordinating punch. This is a photopolymer stamp set and it's from Stamping Up and it features in their annual catalogue. And because there was no phrases or sentiments with it, I picked up a sentiment set, which was best year, the Kling stamp set, um, also from the annual catalogue of Stamping Up. All of these products, as with everything else I use today, are available from my store, slimandstylish.com. If you go up to the header and click buy, you can add anything to your basket from there. And everything I use will be available. So, let's get cracking. I've got lots of things like handy to my desk. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to be using, but hopefully I've got everything that we might need. So, I'm going to start off with a piece of Whisper White cardstock. And um, this one is eight centimeters by 13.25 centimeters. And um, I think I'm just gonna build me a basket up or a pot or a vase, who knows? Right. I think I'm gonna go with the vase, but I'm actually, going to stamp that onto a piece of scrap whisper white instead and fussy cut it out so I can build a nice little vase with it. So there's some scrap whisper white. Memento so I can do some blending. We all know I like blending. Let's ink that up. Stamp it out. Now I chose this one because this was a really easy shape for fussy cutting, I thought. Um, before I fussy cut, actually, I'm going to colour it. So, do, 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 what colours do we have? Um, cinnamon cider, light and dark. Let's do that. So I'm going to pop the dark along this section that has got the black shade in already provided by Stampin' Up. If they've given you the help, there's no point reinventing it. Just go with what they've given you. Okay, so I've gone over that a couple of times. Leave that out because I'm going to build it up. And then you want to go over the whole of the vase. with a light cinnamon cider. And it doesn't matter that this isn't blending. The important thing is, is just to get the whole vase covered with a light first of all. And I'm going in lines just so I know that I've got all of it. There we go, that's the whole vase covered. But at the moment you'll see that there's quite a, a difference between the two colours. So I'm going to come back in with the dark and I'm going to do what I've just done with the light but from that side and I'm going over the first dark bit to make that even darker and spreading it out. And at the bottom, I'm just going wider. Okay. And then with the light, but with the actual bullet tip, I'm going to go down here in little circles, dragging the colour from one to the other. So we get pretty much both sides of the vase all in. So now I've got three tones. 
Hopefully you can see that. Just dragging that through. And then once you've got it to a shade you're quite happy with over this side, finish this bit off. There you go, all blended. You can use your colour lifter, which is what I'm going to do, to just colour lift a few bits going down here. And I'll show you the difference that that makes, but it just makes it look shiny and light because it makes it look like the light has is actually on that section. And then fussy cut out. Love a good blending project. I'm actually cutting on the line as well. I know sometimes I leave a gap white but I haven't with this one I've just cut really close to the line so there is no white at all so cinnamon cider is one of the new in colors you've seen them all yet they're lovely five new in colors cinnamon cider just jade magenta madness Misty Moonlight and Bumblebee, which sounds quite fun, doesn't it? Bumblebee. So, I'm now going to pop all my floral pieces in. I'm actually going to stamp them in the colours that I want them to be. Am I? No, I'm not. I'm going to stamp them in Memento again and I'm going to blend them. on the blocks are you going to be the right size no d blocks for these two one two and you want it all to come back down to where the vase is at the bottom so mento ink quite like that and oh that stuck to the stamp set okay and am I going to get room for you no, I'm not, so I'm going to leave that one out. So I'm going to play with all different shades here. So let me get you this one here. This is just jade, so this is the other new in colour. And I'm going to go along the bottom of this leaf with it. So if you haven't got the new in colours yet, I am actually running an in colour club. And I did it for the first month of the catalogue launch in June, but it's been so popular and I've had three or four people ask if they can join it in July. Um, so I've told everybody that it's open whenever you can join into it. Whenever you watch this video, you can message me if you want to join. There's no sort of dates. It doesn't close. But what it allows you to do is own one of the new ink colours every month. So you get the ink pad, the blend, the stamp and write marker, the coordinating DSP, the card stock, the um, refill and the enamel dots. The only thing I will say is the refills are currently on back order. Oh, you get the ribbon as well. Um, the refills are currently on back order. So what I have said to everyone is instead of getting that for your colour each month, 
they will come as a back order as just one when they all come into stock. And then this one here is shaded spruce. So yes, yeah, £45 a month. It runs for five months and you will get everything um, then. But it allows you to get them monthly, pay for it monthly, but take advantage of getting the bulk discounts. So if you bought them all together, you would save money because you can get sort of 10% off on them. Um, and then you get rewards as well. So you would actually get quite a few discounts. If you buy them separately, you don't get them. But by joining the club and having them delivered every month, you would pay monthly but get the group discounts. So I'm going to do this one with Just Jade as well because I like Just Jade. Yeah, if you're interested in that, let me know. So that's that bit finished. Okay, so the flower bit. Now there's two flowers in this stamp set. Um, this one here, which has got quite dark sort of colour in, and this one here is quite light. I like the just the light one. Well, they're both nice, but I prefer just the light one. So that's the one I'm going to be using. And you want some scrap whisper white. Okay, so Magenta Madness, that is the other in colour. So we've got Cinnamon Cider, Just Jade, Memento Madness. There's also um, Misty Moonlight, that's lovely, really nice. And there's Bumblebee, and unfortunately Bumblebee doesn't have a blend, which does make me sad because I actually really like that colour and I'd love it to be a blend. bit fat on the old brush tips. I'm going to come down to the bullet tip so I don't go over the lines. But yeah, isn't this nice and bright? Okay, so the punch. One. Two. And I'm going to stick those two onto each other so I've got my glue dots. Just going to pick up one of those. like that then. Another dimensional. One, two. And then, yeah, I'm going to pop that at the top there. I'm going to pop her on a dimensional as well. Yeah, at the top there, I did quite like it there. So there we go. I've got some DSP. Um, I'm not sure which one I'm going to use. This is the Flowers for Every Season 6x6 six six DSP. That's just Jade there. That's the um, Misty Moonlight that I told you about, and that's Bumblebee. So I think I'm going to use that one. Yep. And what I'm actually going to do with this is I'm going to cut it at 10 centimetres. 
but and I'm going to cut it at 14 and a half centimeters what I'm going to do because I'm quite a uh, spendthrift I'm not really it's just make good sense I'm gonna take half a centimeter off that by the way so that's now 12 and a half centimeters um, so what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to cut a square out of this at the back because this is gorgeous and I don't want to waste it so at two centimeters around each bit I'm going to cut a square out gorgeous DSP and if it's only going to be used as a backing people aren't going to see it so there's no point in having that there and we can use that then on another card you see it all makes sense really so the only thing to be careful of now is the glue when you put the glue on you've obviously got a window And the glue is going to stick to your background through the window so don't stick it down really heavy turn it over and stick it down otherwise that will get stuck to your grid paper okay take full card oh come on there's the first card oh no it's not I haven't got a sentiment um, oh, I would have put thank you for all that you are because I think that's quite a nice sentiment that's quite big um, so let's go with hello for this one and we'll use a thank you in a second on a different card Memento. I've popped it somewhere. There it is. I've got any more scrap? Oh. I've got some thin strips here that I keep just in case. So I'm just going to stamp my hello on there. Snips. And I cut really tight to it. And then you know these bits on the dimensionals that you get? Use that. hello there we go card number one I might not do as much blending on the next card I don't know why I'm saying that we all know I'm going to do it <laughs> so I'm using some thicker card this time this one is 14.2 centimeters by no 10.5 centimeter 10.2 by 14.5 10.2 by 14.5 I know what I'm doing really honestly so you see that would actually fit really nicely on there now which is what I'm going to do I think Ooh. quite like that actually to be fair 
that's quite a nice side. I'm going to still use the green because I've got this bit on the side of my card here. So the next one I'll have the um, sort of the blue flowers instead. And this is just slightly bigger than the card. So to get it straight, I've got my little guillotine. I'm just going to pop that in and just chop off the extra DSP. Much easier for me to do it this way than do it with scissors because um, I haven't got the most straightest of hands. There we go. Done. And then I wanted to use that thank you, didn't I? So thank you for all that you do. Yeah, I like that. So ink that up. Oh, that thank you really does like pack a punch, doesn't it? It's going to like really smack out of you, that one. I like that. So what I'm going to do is what I did with the vase, but not with the vase, I'm going to... Um, use the leaf behind the thank you so you know how I put this behind the actual vase I'm going to put it behind the sentiment so sort of like there and there and there Am I going to colour it? No, I'm not. But what I am going to do is go back to my little flower. One, two, and a third one because I messed up the first one. And I'm going to colour it in just jade. Dark, 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 dark. I'm going to do exactly the same with this as what I did with the Magenta Madness. So colour the whole thing in. Punch it out. Stick it on top of each other and then pop it onto a dimensional and pop it onto the page. And just because it's green, you can get green flowers, right? I know you normally get green leaves, but you can get green flowers, right, I think. Well, I'm saying you can. One, two. And the glue dots. That's going to go on there. And that is going to go on there like that. Quite like that. So Grab my temp fold card. There we go with that one. And then finally, this is turning into a bit of a one sheet wonder, isn't it? With how we're going to play with all of these. Um, 
how are we going to play with them all? That's the question. So I've got a piece of Whisper White. This one is nine centimetres by 13.25 centimetres. And yeah, I'm just going to do exactly the same as what I did before. So I'm going to pop this on the on here and then chop it off using my guillotine and I'm going to pop it not all the way to the edge very very close to it but not all the way so it's just left a slight edge of the whisper white here and through my guillotine and chop that off there we are And what stamp am I going to use now? I'm going to stick with that thank you because that was really nice. I liked that one. So the reason I have all these strips of white paper, I bet you think, oh my gosh, she's just whipped another strip out, is because um, when I cut all my card bases, and I have a hell of a lot of them all cut and ready, I have them... Um, a little box that sits on the edge of my desk and it's got all the different card bases in it, all the different sizes. So when I cut those, I normally then get a section at the bottom where they all finish. So that's why I have loads of this sort of size left. Well, I cut that pretty good, I guess. It foot runs the full length of the card. Um, yeah, so that's why I have lots of these around pretty much and I have a cardboard box under the desk that has all my off cuts from my whisper white um, so I can just grab into that whenever I'm filming or creating and just grab them all out so thank you for all that you are and all that's nice and do I want anything else do you know what? I don't even think I want anything else with that I must do because I actually pulled out this set to play with so I need to put something on from this so I'm actually just going to pop this flower that we couldn't fit on earlier on and in hindsight I would have popped this on before I put the thank you on I'm just going to pop it there and of course the blue does have um blends so I'm just gonna with that we're gonna have a blue flower so if I was unsure about us having green flowers and I've got blue flowers too but I think like corn flowers are blue aren't they or are they purple show my floral skills off once again petal pink in the middle of there and the light just shade on there and then I've got some of the Misty Moonlight cardstock already oh I like that so question today Instead of which card is your favourite, it's going to be which ink colour is your favourite and which colour made it. I'm beginning to think I should have done all of them Misty Moonlight because I quite like that. Not sure what you think, but I, I'm pretty much in love with that. That's why you should always try and do it with Tombow where you can because um, <laughs> it's not straight, it's easy to fix right before I finish because I've actually in colour played I have my in colour enamel dots so let's um, move all this rubbish off here Grab my paper piercer. So if you've got the income colour enamel dots, what I should tell you beforehand is you need to go underneath the dot to pull the whole thing up because these 
are actually not loose but if you go across like that you're going to pull the top off and not the bottom and it's because this is really stuck well at the bottom so I'm going to go right underneath them and pull it up like that okay so I think that's the only one I'm putting on that card this one here I'm going to pop a few of the green on One, two, and then just because I don't want it to be all green, I'm going to come with the bumblebee and pop it on the centre of that flower. I'm going to do the same over here with bumblebee and pop it on the centre of that flower. And then I'm going to play with the green magenta madness. And the cinnamon cider all the way up the side of that card so then which card's your favorite thank you for joining me for another one in my saturday series i will attempt to try and clear my desk up once i finish this honestly the saturday series i get everything everywhere but i thoroughly enjoy them so do if you have enjoyed them leave me a little comment or give me a thumbs up that would be appreciated subscribe and i'll see you again next week and if you have liked any of the items i've used in today's little session you can buy them from my website slimandstylish.com go up to the header bar and click buy and if you are buying anything from my website please use my hostess code which you can find on the right hand side because then you get a free little goodie sent in the post from me as a thank you i will see you all again soon thanks everybody bye